Hello, my name is Stryker, and today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Studio Series number 10, Jazz. Alright, let's get this thing started. Alright, so this is how he comes out of the packaging. So let's look at his accessory first. So his accessory is this little gun shield thing that he had in the first movie. Pretty cool. Now, the, so, so far, I only have one problem with this figure, and that's this front piece right here is, on mine, it's, it's a little loose. Uh, actually, it, some, you just gotta not touch it if you want it to stay still. But anyways, besides that, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, he's a deluxe class, uh, he looks... He's pretty small for deluxe class, actually. But, um, he looks pretty cool. So, he does have this backpack, unfortunately. Um, those don't, these are the only, so, yeah, these are the only two things that are not accurate about him, is that these lights are supposed to be right here, and the spoil, there's, his spoiler is supposed to be back here, but instead the spoiler folds up under his back, uh, backpack but besides that this is a pretty cool figure so let's talk about it let's talk about his articulation um he has a he has a ball joint at the head um he could look up if you just fold the little panel down where he, his head sat um his shoulders can do 360 degrees and there's like a lot of hinges right here so, you know, you could go up and down, you could go that, but yeah, there's just a lot of, a lot of hinges. So that's for the transformation. And right here, he has, there's a joint right here, there's two joints. First you have this one that's on a pin, then you have this one that's a ball joint. So there's a bend, you could do 90 degree bend, and then you could do more bend because of that second joint. So his hands, um, his hands are a little weird, because in the movie, he had these weird claw things, so he's obviously going to have on a toy. Um, so it doesn't tap into anywhere, but my, on my copy, it's fairly, fairly, it's actually pretty tight, so it's not going to wobble around and shake it. So, yeah. So on this side, his hand's a little different. This side... The hand is actually grabbing something, so he could hold the gun normally. See? Or, for both hands, you could either just flip them in, and there would be this little tab right here, which would tab into the back of this little gun. And that would basically just look like this. So it would get rid of his hand, and his gun would be just literally attached to the hand. Which, I actually like that. It's pretty cool. Alright, now let's get into the some comparisons. Um actually Alright, let's just so I'm not gonna transform well I have some I only have four other studio series figures, but let's get them out. Here's Dropkick and in his helicopter mode. Um I was gonna transform him but I'll save this guy for the review. Here he is, right next to Jazz, as you can see. Um Helicopter mode is well when it's on the ground. Jazz is taller, but like lengthwise, it's uh it's still actually taller. It's actually longer. All right, next we got um, Studio Series Crowbar. As you can see, same thing. Um, it's the same size when you're just lying it down on its face. Um, but I'm pretty sure that when I try to transform this guy, this guy is uh, gonna be taller than Jazz. Next up, we got the one Decepticon he faced off in the movie, which would be Bra. Here he is. You know, I I actually think this is works. This actually works a lot well. Uh, this actually works. Yeah, this works pretty good. Remember in the movie, he went up to this guy and then just like grabbed the gun barrel or the tank barrel and then started just fighting him. Like one top. It was pretty. It was a pretty cool scene. Um. Uh, last but not least, my last studio series here, which would be Bone Crusher. 
yes, I have Bone Crusher. I'm excited to review this guy. He's one of my favorite fit characters. So, again, in robot mode, he's obviously taller. Um, not when you do this. Um, especially when you lay out the giant fork thing. It's definitely a lot longer than Jazz, but... That's pretty much it. Alright, let's see. So, I do know there's a Masterpiece Jazz coming out, which fixes the backpack and the light problem. Uh, the, actually, this this figure of... Well, if this fig... Well, if all the figures didn't have this um, loose chest piece thing, like, well, besides ignoring this, then this thing could actually actually pretty much compete with the masterpiece jazz only thing i wish this figure had um trigger warning is that you could actually split them in half uh the masterpiece you could do that it comes with a separate um separate um spine piece that you could attach which i think is pretty funny and cool um anyways so let's just transform this guy so um what i noticed well obviously what i noticed is that um that the movie figures transformations are a little more complex than like the siege line so <clears throat> this might i have no idea how long this could take i'm just gonna do it all right so first what you want to do is um these giant heel spurs back here you're just gonna flip them up these will help jazz um stand because the backpack uh well actually you could stand without it but if you try to pose them he could he will fall um let's see so just gonna go to the, these parts right here which are the front of his feet you're just gonna pull these down and straight like that same with the other side pull them down and then you're just gonna fold fold up the leg like that same with the other side just fold up the leg and boom next what you want to do the backpack just lift it up and take the back part of the car and tab it in which this was going to be the top of the car, top and back of the car. And then, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. So, um, let's see, how can I show this? So basically, there's a lot of joints right here. Joints and hinges, which attach to the roof hood of his car. So that's my favorite part of this transformation. So if I show you, this is actually... This part right here is the the hood of the car, which goes under and becomes the waist. He doesn't have waist articulation, but you know that's forgivable. So this part, you're just gonna. So this part, this is. So if you want him to look right, or if you want to get him into vehicle mode, there's this little hole right here. Well, not hole. This little tab not wait no a peg yeah that's what it is the peg and this will peg in right here into this hole so if you just do it like this it's actually kind of hard if you just like do it like this it's hard to get in so what i recommend is that you unfold the legs split them a little bit and fold it and then when you do this it's you could easily hold on you could easily tab in that little... Oh, right, hold on. Well, this is... Well, trust me, this is a lot easier than trying to do it when his legs are already folded up. Hold on. There we go. There we go. All right, I did it. So now, these pieces, the leg pieces, you can just fold it, and they will tab in right here. So this is this has got to be actually, yeah. This this part, when you once you get that tab in, this this part actually gets is really transforms really smooth. All right. So now for the front part, so you got this, um, just half jazz half car thing <laughs> anyway so you're gonna get this part and turn it all the way around see th this part is like this is one of my this is like has to be one of my favorite transformations on the figure and you're just gonna flip his head in 
and this chest piece right here you're gonna turn it around and put it in so mine's is a little loose it might come off but just try to ignore it and now the arms you're gonna fold in his hands and then just gonna align this and put it in right there so um, there's this little tab right here and this little slot so it's just gonna go right there it's not gonna it just it's, I think it's more like a guidance piece well just yeah just a guidance all right this is the this has to be the actually this part I, I consider it the hardest thing on this figure it's not that hard once you get used to it but it's pretty hard so there's a lot of joints or well, hinges right here which you're gonna have to fold in so you could put the arm into the side of the car so let me do it with this side there we go see and then see this is what you get so well you're gonna have to align these pieces and once you do that it actually cleans up the side pretty good see now same thing with this side I'm just gonna fold it in on these hinges and you're gonna put this panel under the door whoa yeah hold on There we go. So yeah, I noticed that the the movie figures tend to be a lot more uh, a lot more difficult than the Siege line or other lines like Combined Wars or Titan of Turn lines. Like these, these tend to be a little bit more harder to transform, especially when you don't line them up right. There we go. Finally. All right, so here we go. Um, I think this is the yeah. Anyways, this is car mode. Um, he really, if you look in the bottom. He really gets a lot smaller. Rolls, rolls actually. Yeah, rolls pretty good. All right, so what you want to do for the weapon storage would be so this gun, the shield gun you will just put it down like that and then there's this little slot right here that it's gonna go right underneath the spoiler and once you do that you get this so this would be the, the final um, form I guess of Studio Series Dreads it's really small really small uh, I think I heard somewhere that this is the smallest figure in the Studio Series line so far. So, let's get in some comparisons. Here's Crowbar. Uh, see, in vehicle mode, Crowbar is a lot bigger. Uh, same thing with um, Dropkick. Uh, these two are both Deluxes. See, um, he's actually pretty small. Well, Dropkick looks a lot bigger because he, he actually stretches out. Um, next we got the my two Voyager, the two Voyagers, um, Bra and Bone Crusher. As you can see, they 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 make them look really small. But I think this is this is actually a good thing because um, he was actually kind of small in the movie, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Jazz. Now, let me give you my honest opinion on him. So, I really like Transformation. Transformation, I'll give it like an 8, or maybe 9, maybe 8.5. 8.5 is good. Um, car mode is really cool looking. Um, my only problem, as I said earlier, is this front grill piece. Sometimes it's, it's like very loose. I mean, you could sometimes get to stay in there, but anyways, if that was fixed on my figure, I would give this figure like 
an, a nine, a nine. But overall, um, this guy is pretty cool. So I would, I would recommend getting him if Jazz is your favorite. So yeah, if he's your favorite, go ahead and get him. Um, I don't. I haven't seen him in stores for a while. This guy was like part of the like the first couple waves, but you should really pick him up. He's pretty cool. All right, so that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope I helped you. If you guys really wanted this figure, hope I helped you in some sort of way. Um, so tell me what you guys want me to review next. Well, after I review Dropkick, I'll either review Crowbar, Bra. Bone Crusher or Seed Sky Trick. But, anyways, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed.